Hello everybody, welcome back to Gaelic Glory for your GAA Championship Weekend Preview. Another weekend of provincial games and I tell you what, out of all the games, well since the championship has started two weeks ago, this is the weekend I'm looking forward to the most. You, know, you have Kerry facing Cork, Ross Common Mayo, Derry Donegal. Um, they're, the, they're, the, they're the crack of games I'm really, really looking forward to. Then you have Clare against Waterford, Tyrone and... Tyrone and Cavan too. That, that 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 that's another exciting game. I think every game across the across Munster, Ulster, and Connacht are very very exciting this weekend. No Leinster football this weekend. So look, looking forward to previewing the games. See what sort of our team is that's coming through. With you know the big game. Look, the biggest game is of the weekend for me is Derry facing Donegal. Really looking forward to that game. But look, we will start off talking about the Connacht because I want to save the best till last. Um, so please stick around to the end, much would you appreciate. Like the video, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to get up for every time we go live and make a pre record video. And follow our socials as well, links in the description. Be much, much appreciate. Now, look, I think we'll start off with the first game of the weekend. And the first game we're going to preview is Sligo against Galway um, at 3 30 pm. Look, I'm really, look, this is a game where. I'm sure many are expecting it to be to be probably one-sided. And, you know, when I say one-sided, Donegal, Donegal, Galway to progress. Um, and look, these two sides face each other. Last year in the Connacht final and, and Galway beat them fairly handy. Um, again, this is in um, Mark, 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 Mark Park, is it? Oh, I'm probably absolutely butchering it. But, uh it's on Saturday, 20th of April, the semi-final. And look, I think Donegal will win this game. I do think Donegal will win this game by about 10. I hate to say it, but I think it'll be more than, I'm going to say, 7 points, 7 plus, 7 plus, I think, uh, Galway will win by. Uh, I mean, look, um, Sligo have announced their start in 15. It's Aidan Devaney in goal, Evan Lyons, Eddie McGuinness, uh, Paul McNamara, Peter Laffey, Nathan Mullen, Dara Cummins, Sean Carabine, Canis Mulligan, Keen Lally, Alan McLaughlin, Owen Smith, Paul Coyne, Noel Murphy, and Lee Dagan. Um, so that is a certain fifteen for from for uh, for Sligo. Now Galway. Uh, I mean, look, you can probably see the name there already. Shane Walsh returns to the starting 15. Damien Comer on the bench. Will he start? It'd be interesting to see, but that's big for uh, Galway. Conor Gleeson in goals. Halfback is Johnny McGrath, Sean Fitzgerald, Jack Lane. Halfback is Dylan McHugh, John Daly, and Liam Silk. Midfield of Paul Conroy and Sean Kelly. Um, half forward line of Johnny Heaveney, Shane Walsh, and Kane Darcy, I'll say. And then a full forward line of Jack McCabe, Robert Finity, and Liam O'Connell. I mean, look, it's 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 a strong start in fifteen from Galway, um, and you can't forget, you know, they have um, Damien Comer back too. They have Damien Comer, and look, Galway didn't have the greatest league campaign at all. Um, I mean, look, they played London in the quarterfinals in Connacht and. It was a pretty easy day out for for Galway to say the least. Um, and look, I'd be surprised if Sligo pulled through against Sligo by their home team. So maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance to try and uh, get over Galway. And look, it'd be huge if Sligo made it to the, to get a kind of fun for the second year in a row. You know, but I just can't see them doing shit this year. I know Galway haven't been great, but I think with the players they have back. Well, returning Shane Walsh and Damian Comer, I think that'll be a big boost, and I'm sure a few others as well. Um, and yeah, I just think it'll be a fairly seven. I feel like to win by eight points or more. Eight points or more will be my my prediction for the game for Galway to progress to the Connacht Championship semi final. Um, and look, Galway, Galway, you know, need to win this game. Danny, if you want to make it far. In the All Ireland series, in, not even the All Ireland series, but the championship itself, they need to get wins on the board. They need to build up some confidence, bit of momentum, consistency, all that sorts of stuff. Um, because look, if they progress to the final, it doesn't get easy from here. You know, they had London, now they have Sligo. If they get past Sligo, 
they'll more they'll have rust coming on my the face, which wouldn't be an easy foil um by any means. Um but look you just never know it's a championship. I'm sure many people would love to see another few shocks this weekend. Um but I just can't see past I can't see Sligo beating Galway. I think Galway are too strong um for them and I do think Galway will progress to the kind of championship final. Um, that is my prediction for that game. Next up, we have Ross Common against Mayo at 4 p.m. on Sunday, the 24th of April. Um, I tell you what, this is a this is a good game. This is going to be a very very good game to watch. 4 p.m. Um, in Doctor Hyde Park, Mayo are away. Ross Common at home, home advantage there could could definitely help Ross Common, no doubt about it. But here's the Ross Common uh, team that has been announced. Um, so we have. Connor Carroll, David Murray, Brian Stack, Noel Higgins, Noel Daly, uh, Rodri Fallon, Owen, Owen McCormick, and Smith, uh, Tygo Rourke, Dylan Ruan, Alton Harney, Ronan Daly, Donny Smith, Derek Craig, and Dermot Morta. Um, I mean, look, they, they have a few options on the bench. Connor Cox, for instance. I mean, look, <laughs> you look at this sort of game, and here's Miles actually starting 15 as well, actually. Uh, Colin Reap, Jack Coyne, um, Rory Brickenden, Sam Callanan, Paddy Dawkins, David Mac David McBrien, um, and the Hessians, Stephen Cohen, Matthew Moran, Bob Tui, Fergal Bowling, Jack Carney, Aidan O'Shea, Tommy Conroy, and Ryan Donahue. And I have the, the, the Mayo bench there as well. Uh, the reason why I have the Mayo bench up is because there is no... Uh, Killian O'Connor, so it looks like he will be unavailable to face Ross Common this weekend. Um, I mean, look, it's a strong Mayo 11, 11, 15. Um, and you have to say the same for, 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 for Ross Common, too. Um, you know, Ryan O'Donoghue done well against New York, Aidan O'Shea, the experienced man up front. Um, you know, Tommy Conroy has been getting a good bit of game time this year again for Mayo. You know, they have um, a midfield of, of Stephen Cohen and Matthew Moran, which is which is a very good midfield, if you ask me. But look, if I had to, well, I am going to predict it and I'm going to go, oh, it's hard because we yeah, have Ross Cohen haven't been doing great this year. Mayo just doing, doing the business, doing what they, doing, doing what they have to do. Down that job. Oh, I did in the championship predictions. I predicted Mayo, and I'm gonna predict Mayo for this one as well. Yes, I know Ross coming at home. Ross coming Mayo. You know, I don't. Here's what I don't think Mayo will 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 run away with it. I think it will be maybe. Three, four, five points will split the sides in the end because I think Ross Common may just sit back and once they get the ball, you know, dart forward and 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 and, and try and try and capitalise on that. But you know, I, I find it hard to well look. Ross Common could win this game, but. You look at it, Ross Common relegated in the relegated, you know, gonna be a division two side next year. Um yeah, I'm gonna go Mayo. I'm gonna go Mayo, but I don't think Mayo will run away with it. I mean I looked at something there earlier on on Twitter or X and someone said Ross Common are favourites. Um I don't think Ross Common are favourites. I think Mayo are the favourites coming into this game. I know Mayo are way Dr. Hyde Park. You know, Ross Common can bring a good atmosphere and just have a good start. You know, that can that can give you a boost. If you have a good start, it can give you a big, big, big boost. And I think Ross Common need it. And if Ross Common win this game, they'll be in the Connacht. They'll be in the Connacht final. More than likely against Galway. You know, It'd be interesting to see if Ross Common can turn up, but with what I've been seeing at Ross Common, 
But what I've seen with them so far this year, they haven't. I can't look at them and say, you know, they could do a job. I just don't think they will. I just don't think they will. They can, but I don't think they will. You never know when they're with teams in the championship. You know, you look at my old last year, brilliant in the league, poor come the championship. Ross Common, poor in the league, could be good in the championship. You just never know. Um, yeah, I am going to back Mayo to win this game. And I'm going to say Mayo boy, Mayo boy four. And again, we can't forget Ross Common knocked these out last year. Not Ross Common knocked Mayo out last year in um, in Castle Bar. Can they do it again? You never know. You, you never know. You never know. But look, if there's, if there's two games that I find that I'll find it hard to predict this weekend, it's this game and the Derby Dunny goal again. They're the ones I'll honestly think that are hard to predict. Um. Yeah, but look, like I said, back to Ross Common, Mayo, Mayo done well against New York, you know, done the business. Um, I mean, they conceded, um, I think it was two goals, so, you know, they need to tighten up defensively because Ross Common are a better team than New York, you know, no disrespect to New York. Um, but then, like I said, if, you know, Mayo, or not Mayo, Ross Common, I mean, these two face each other in the league and, you know, Mayo beat them fairly handy. Ross Common won't want that to happen again. I do think Ross Common will be a lot tighter, more physical, sit back, soak up the pressure, and then try and beat them, you know, on the counter attack, you could say. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go Mayo to beat Ross Common by five points. Next up, we're going to move into the Connacht, uh, the Munster Championship, and it is Kerry against Cork. Um, on Saturday the 20th of April at 4pm at the Fitzgerald Stadium. These, this is going to be another good game in my opinion. Um, I do have the Kerry starting 15 before we jump into any predictions. Um, but actually before I jump into the Kerry starting 15, I'll go through the, the Cork. Um, yeah, the Cork full. The Cork. I presume it's the Cork starting 15 anyway. So it's... Uh, no, this won't be the Cork Sound 15. Will it be? Uh, look, the 26 man squad, anyways, that's all I could find. Christopher Kelly, Kevin Flahiff, Daniel O'Mahony, Morris Shanley, Luke Fahey, Tommy Walsh, Matty Taylor, Ian McGuire, Colin O'Callaghan, Paul Walsh, Sean Powter, Brian O'Driscoll, Chris Oak Jones, who's definitely going to be a danger man, Connor Corby, Brian Horley, another danger man, Michael. Michael Martin, um, she, Sean Mahan, Derek Cashman, Thomas Clancy, Kevin O'Donovan, David Buckley, Owen McSweeney, John O'Rourke, Rory, Rory Dean, Mark Cronin, and Stephen Sherlock. So that is the that's that, that's that's the Cork full Cork squad to face Kerry, um, on the Kerry squad. But yeah, look at the Cork team actually. Have Chris Oak Jones, Brian Hurley, Connor Corbett. You know, they'll need that big boys in this game. They'll need that big boys in this game. You no, know, to face Kerry. Um, Kerry, bit of a look, I wouldn't say they're totally, oh, look, they may be, but they, they, I, I don't think they're really fussed about what they, how they performed in the league. Kerry had a big favourite to win Munster. Um, but Cork, do you, again, you know, you'd imagine that, you know, um, El Michal Martinson will be playing. Uh, I said Michael Martin. Michael Martin, I, I apologise that when I was announcing the call. 26 man squad. But you look at the Kerry team. You know, you have Shane Ryan and Goals, Paul Murphy, Tyg Morley, Tom O'Sullivan, Graham O'Sullivan, Gavin Weiss, Shane, Sean, Shane O'Brien, Sean O'Brien, Dermot O'Connor, Joe O'Connor, Adrian Spillane, Paddy Clifford, Killian Bork, David Clifford, Sean O'Shea, and Dara Moynihan. Um, you know, even look at that bench, you know, Paul Gini, Stephen O'Brien, Killian Spallan, Dara Roche, Ronan Buckley, Tony Brosnan, Dylan Casey, Barry Dan O'Sullivan. Kerry are big favourites for this game. And I am backing Kerry to win this game. I do think they'll be caught by six points. Um, I think, no, not six. I'm going to say, yeah, five or six points I think Kerry will win, but I don't think they'll absolutely run away with it. Uh, but I think it'll be one of those sort of It'd be, yeah, they may win by five or six, but it'll be it'll look 
the scoreline will make it well, a bit tighter than I expected, but I'd be probably a very look, it'll probably, I'm not saying it will, but it'll probably be a pretty uh pretty, you know, comfortable win for Kerry in the instance of they have a lot of control. Cork will go Cork will have every, every man probably in in uh in their own side of the pitch. Um but if Cork I think out of all the teams in Munster, Cork are the only team who have a chance to be Kerry. And they've done it before. But I just don't think they'll do it on Saturday. I just don't think they'll do that. Um, I mean, again, it'd be a big shock if they did. You know, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be a shock to the system for Kerry. It's probably even to Cork. To probably everyone in the country too. But Cork, you know, had a bad start to the league. Ended it fairly well. You look at um, you know how they've been doing over there. I think they finished toward out toward in the in the in division two. So they haven't been having a bad year. Yes, they had a bad start, losing games that they should they shouldn't lose. Um. So yeah, I do back Kerry to win this game. Um. Just with the players they have. Cork, um, like I said, Chris Oak Jones, a trap, Brian Hurley, you know, they, they, they do have that threats. Cork, they're not a bad team. Cork are not a bad team, but when they're when when Cork are bad, they're like they're bad, they lose a match. Um, and I do think they lose this match. Um, I mean, look, I'm sure many Cork fans are hoping for uh, was it 2020? When you know the conditions in Park and Quay were horrendous, lashings of rain, wind was very bad. You know, goals had goals at extra time. Looks like it was going to go maybe the penalties, a drop ball, Cork back it in it, game over. Cork would love that again, but I just don't think it'll happen. Unfortunately for Cork, and I do think they'll bow out of the kind of the monster, monster championship to carry by five points. Next up. Warford against Clare in Fraher Fields, Saturday, 6 p.m. Um, Waterford's team is out. We'll just go through it there fairly quick. Um, there's the Cork, the Cork, the the, uh, the Waterford, should I say, um, starting 15. And then we'll move into the Clare starting 15. So... Look, Clare coming into this game favourites, and you can see why. You can see why. But Waterford, unsurprisingly, I thought I didn't think they'd be in it in a championship semi final. And imagine how big it will be for Waterford to make it to a Munster final. Just never mind winning Munster, but just making it to a Munster final against Cork or Kerry would be huge. I don't think they'll win the Munster. I think I back Kerry to win. I think they'll carry to win it, but. Munster, or not Munster, Waterford played tip last game out. And I think it was late drama there. Goals galore. You want our players, I forget the name of them now. Oh, I forget the name of them, But one of our players doing a Jude Bellingham celebration. Waterford are going to come into this game. Probably confident. Clare coming into this game. Again, Clare the favourites coming into this game. But Tip Ray were the favourites against Waterford. So, you know, sometimes being the favourites never decides the results. And um, we've seen that many times in the in the GAA and even the Holland. So yeah, I do look, you know I feel like Waterford just well I don't well, I don't think Waterford will win this game. I think Clare will win it. Uh I mean you look at Clare, you know, the lot of players sat the part of the squad there um at the start of the year. They haven't done all bad to be fair, they've like, probably done better than people expect them to do. Um and I do back Clare to win this game. I back them to win this game. Um, again, this could be a tight game. You know, it's it's one of them games we just don't know. But I am gonna back Clare to progress to the Munster final against Kerry. Um, look, I have no reason behind. Well, I do have reason. Clare, the stronger team, um, in my opinion. Waterford are gonna come into this game. They won't care about what people predict in this game. They'll go in. They'll try and get the job done. Um, but I just don't think they will. 
and I do think Clare will win this game. Boy, I'm going to say five or six points. I'm going to say five or six points. But you know what? I'm going to say more. Five, six points plus. Next up, we have Cavan against Tyrone. Uh, Cavan up again. Again, I could only find the Tyrone starting 15. Apologies. But that is the Tyrone 15. Uh, Noel Morgan, Conal Devlin, Padre Campsie, Michael, McKer- Michael McKernan, uh, Shawnee O'Donnell, Matthew Donnelly, Noel Devlin, Brian Kennedy, Aidan Donaghy, Kieran Daly, Kieran McGeary, Joe Augus, Dara McCurry, Dara Canavan, and Rory Canavan. I mean, look, you know, Tyrone will be looking to absolutely improve massively after the last game in the league, losing to Dublin. I know they had a few players, um, some of that it wasn't the strongest team, but they'll be looking to um, win this game. Up against Cavan and Cavan beat Monaghan, so Cavan coming in and it's 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 going to be an interesting game. I think I presume Cavan are at home. Um, if me if me if me mind's correct, uh, yeah, it's in Kings Pan Briefing Park, four pm on Sunday. Um, look, I do think that it's again. Yeah, this is another game that's hard to predict. You know, it is because Cavan coming into scare after beating Monaghan. Cavan had a decent league campaign, beat Monaghan. Um, Another late bit of drama there with a late goal from Cavan against Monaghan to just sail the wind, put the cherry on top. And I do, t- oh, this is a hard game to predict, you know. Uh, Tyrone have, I think Tyrone will have a threat up top, but then Cavan have their danger man too. I am going to go Tyrone to win this game, but you know what? I would not be surprised if this goes to extra time. I don't think it will, but I wouldn't be surprised. I do think Tyrone will win, but I think Tyrone will win by about four or five, six points. It's just, I know Monaghan have been very poor this year. They've only won one game, and that was against Dublin at the start of the league. The first game of the league campaign at Crow Park, they won by a point. But I, you know, that, that was their only win, but, you know, they travelled to Monaghan. I predicted them to lose against Monaghan. But I am gonna back Tyrone to win this game. Tyrone, I'm surprised Tyrone got the hammering they did. I mean, I was at Crow Park when 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 Dublin played Tyrone, and I was surprised that you know again I, was, I, I knew Dublin was gonna win, but I was, I was like, you know, Tyrone, Ireland champions a couple of weeks, and I, I'm not, I, I didn't see a certain McCall McShane there. Um, I didn't see him there, but I do think. Look, I'm I gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna spit it out. Tyrone to win this game. I do think Tyrone will win this game, but I don't think they'll run away with it either. I think the only game, you know, I, I know I've said that in the Mayor Ross Common game, Kerry Cork, and I know I'm saying it in this game also. But I'm I honestly brutally serious when I say I don't think Tyrone will run away with it. This could go down the the, the home stretch. Tyrone coming into this game couple of weeks, you know, a few weeks off now, a few weeks rest. Cavan played two weeks ago. Which team's going to come in wanting it more? Who's going to... You, you, you presume with Tyron have more time off, they'd come in more refreshed. I mean, if they had an extra week, you know, off. Um, So, you mean, Cavan played a week after the league and the league's ended, Tyron not. So, I do think Tyron will win this game. And again, it's going to be another good game, in my opinion. It is the, the Ulster Championship this year is is full of excitement. It really, really is full of excitement. And you know, as a, as 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 a neutral, you love looking at Connacht and Ulster being very competitive. It's a shame Munster and even Leinster are not. But look, there's nothing we can do. Nothing, nothing I can do. Um, it's a shame. It's a shame because if all four provinces were so so competitive. It'd be brilliant. It'd be brilliant. But I just think, the, look, look again. If I had to rank it, I'd have Ulster, Connacht, Munster, and Leinster. That'd be my four. The reason why I have Leinster toured, or oh, not Leinster toured, Munster toured. You have Kerry Cork in there. Leinster, Dublin, put the big joints in there. So I am going to go with Tyrone to beat Cavan. The last game of the weekend, and I tell you what, this is the game I cannot wait to watch. And it's on Saturday too, six p.m. Ask Celtic Park. 
All-Star quarterfinals. I mean, look, I have a bit of news. I have a bit of news. So we'll go through the dairy starting 15. If my is good enough. So can't... Let me hit you. Sorry, let me look. I, I, I have to go closer, okay? Your elbow is blind. So it's Audrin Lynn. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, do, I'll just go to this. I'll just go to this. I'm sorry to be. I mean, look, I'm only 19 and my eyes so are struggling. Um, uh, this is what you get with Aldina. So it's. Arden Lynch and Goal, uh, Conor McCluskey, Christopher McCaig, Dermot Baker, Conor Doherty, Owen McAvoy, pa Podrick McGrogan, Conor Glass, Brendan Rogers, Ethan Doherty, Kerry McFall, Paul Cassidy, Niall Lachlan, Shane McGuigan, and Lachlan Murray. Um, I mean, look, it's a strong, strong Derry 15. And I think you look at that Derry team, and it's very strong. It's sort of midfield of Brendan Rogers and Conor Glass is solid. Yeah, you look at what they really have at the back, you know, Podrick with Grogan. Uh, people have been impressed. You know, then you have um, Shane McGuigan, Lachlan Murray, Paul C You know, they have the Derry are the favourites coming into this game, but you're coming up against Jim McGinn, you know, Mickey Hart against Jim McGuinness. You know, Jim McGuinness will want to get one over Mickey Hart. Mickey Hart will want to get one over Jim McGuinness. Uh, I mean, look, these two sides can be in the visual one next year, which is brilliant to see. Um, and I have to Donny Gall team. There was a bit of doubt about a certain um, Patrick McBurty, but it looks like he'd be starting. Uh, it looks like he'd be starting. So we have this is Donny Gall twenty six man squad. So it's Sean Patton, Mark Curran, Kieran Moore. Peter Morgan, Ryan McHugh, Kyle uh, McGonagall, Shane O'Donnell, Karen Thompson, Michael Langan, um, Audrey Doherty, Niall O'Donnell, Dara O'Beal, Dara, Dara, Dara O'Beal, Padraig McBrearty, Ushane Gallen, Aaron Doherty, Gavin Mulrini, Kevin McGettigan, Stephen McManaman, Hugh, Hugh McFadden, Donald McGullabride, um, Jack McCallowy, I'm making sure myself, Brendan McCall, Jamie Brennan, Jason McGee, John Ross Molloy, and Charles McGuinness. Um, you know, again, I don't see a McHugh. I've seen Ryan McHugh, actually. I've seen Ryan McHugh, but I don't think he's the man they want. Look, it's a big plus for, for, for Donny Gall having Project Project with Bertie back. You know, he missed the also the league final against the yeah, the late final against Armagh. Donegal still got the job done. But this game, this is why I said the best to last, because I'm going to flaunt it. I'm going to talk about it, waffle about it for a few minutes. It's at Celtic Park, Derry home advantage. Saturday night, 6 p.m. All star quarter final. Um, Mickey Hart against Jim McGuinness. Rivalry. Big game. Tony Gall doing well since Jimmy Guinness has come in. Derry doing great since Mickey Hart has come in. Two teams with two new managers who are well experienced in the game of Gaelic games. Mickey Hart obviously being the more experienced. Jimmy Guinness, you know, decent manager. Jimmy Guinness actually sat around to watch the league final there between Dublin and Derry. So, you know, he was getting a bit of a, a bit of a feel, a bit of a, a bit of an eye on, you know, a bit of an eye on the, who to look at and what to expect. Um, and one thing I'll say, Donegal are well capable to beat Derry, but I think Derry are the they had Derry are too. I just think Derry will be a bit too strong for Donegal, and I do think Derry will win this game. But honestly, it's another game where this will go to extra time. I think this will go down the home stretch. No one will by up this game. Two or three points will probably be the most you'll see gap was. I'm gonna say the Derry boy. Derry by two points. I'm gonna go Derry by two points. I do think Derry will win this game, but my God, I'm looking. I'm actually looking forward to watching this game because I can't wait to see how. We, and I hope, I hope it lives up to, to expectations. You know, as a neutral, I hope it's a cracking game, end to end, exciting stuff, all that sort of stuff. But I do think Derry will have more of the ball, 
and Jim McGuinness will do the blank defence, sit back, and then try forwards. But Donegal need pace. When, Do- when Donegal get the ball, they need to capitalise. They can't get rid of it. Because since I've watched Derry under Mickey Hart, when they don't have the ball, when Derry don't have the ball, they press. They get into your face. They don't sit back. They press up on your kickouts. They don't give you a time of day. They don't give you a time to, to run, go for a pass, shot. They're, they're always on top of you. So I feel like Donegal will struggle to find points. They, you know, they definitely would have needed um, a Michael Murphy for this sort of game. But again, you have Patrick and McBurty, and I think that will maybe fill a few Donegal fans with a bit of confidence if, if they haven't had any already. So I am going to back Derry to win this game. But I, like I said, Donegal go back to defence. Jim McGinnis knows how to do it. I'm sure his players will too. I'm sure they've done a lot of training drills on a couple of things this week. The bank defence being one of them, but also. What they do going forwards too, they need to come up with a good, good plan, and so will so will they. But look, can't write off any of these teams. Now these are two teams you I expect to be, you know, make QB who I mean, look, I, will, I expect Donegal to be in an all or in a semi final at least this season. And I think Donegal will be happy with that. Can Derry win it? They've won it. This is be their tour year in a row now. I think it would be so. You know, brilliant to see. Um, Oh my god, I don't even want to stop talking about it because this game is going to be brilliant. I'd love to do a watch long for it, you know, but unfortunately, I won't be able to. Um, I'm gonna go Derry to win the game, like I said, but I think Derry will win it by two points. I, I, I do think Derry, I, 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 I just can't see Donegal being too open, and I think Derry will struggle getting close to goal. But I think you know, they'll have their shame with Wiggins, they'll have Connor Glass who can go for shot, Brendan Rogers who can go for shot. Um, you know, they have. You know, meeting Doherty, Kerr, McFall, Paul Cassidy, Lachlan Murray, um, Noel Lachlan. I mean, look, you even have their bench here as well, actually, which I'll go to. Ryan Scullin, Squillian, Emma Bradley, Declan Cassidy, Matthew Downey, Shea Downey, Donahue Gilmore, Colin Mc, McGuicken, um, Garrett McKinless too, Ian Mulholland, Mark Doherty, Noel Turner. Derry have depth and Derry have threats. But yeah, I, 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 I'm going to stick with Donegal. Oh, not Donegal, Derry doing the game. But again, do not be surprised if Donegal progress. Donegal have to work. They're, they're, they'll have to work very, very, very hard in this game to get the win. But look, anything is possible. Jim again is. I'm sure he has something up his sleeve. I'm sure he has a plan. Will the plan go? Will it? Will it? Will it go all to plan in the end? It's yet to be seen. But I'm going to go Derry to win this game with two points. And you know, it could be one of them games where it's all level and then come the last two minutes or something more minute of injury time, Derry just bang, bang, you never know. But yeah, Derry to win this game. And Derry, look, they'll need to win. They'll need to win also. But this has been the GA, the Gaelic, or the GA Championship weekend preview. Hope you all like the video. Comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Much, much appreciate. Follow us social links in the description. I'll speak to you all on the next one. Don't forget, the GAA, the weekend roundup, will be recorded on a Sunday and out on a Monday. Looking forward to that. Thank you for watching us. We'll be trying the next one.